Okay, uh, I want to get on to the science, but before I do that, I'm going to talk about the non-science, the uh, unscientific stuff. Here are three of the reasons people give for why homeopathy is totally uh, impossible. I don't know whether I should embarrass the person who said that no molecules, no effect. If you look it up, you'll see a well-known critic who says that. Um, well, the idea is you've diluted all the molecules, uh, so there can't be any, anything left to produce um, uh, a cure. Of course, that neglects the fact that you might be doing something to water, and that what, what it might be doing to water is what I'll be talking about later on. So that's the first dodgy argument. Second one is um, actually a former head of department said this. So uh, we know uh, things happen very quickly in water, and you want memory to um, persist for a long time. Well, that's a very spurious argument because you could clearly have more than one time scale for different things, and it's just a, a non-argument. The third dodgy argument is, um, well, if water could remember what it had been in contact with, it would remember everything that it had been in contact with in the past, and there'd be total confusion. But you might say the same about magnet. Um, a magnet would be affected by any magnetic material it came in contact with. But of course, what happens is that some things have a strong influence, and they produce the um, organizing effect. And this may be resistant to everything else. So that's what would happen with homeopathy. Your, your preparation process would um, have some effect organizing the water, and um, uh, this might be persistent and not be affected by what other things the water came into contact with. 